stop sign. Turn left onto State Route 9. It all comes down to this. Two back-to-back -back events in the north. So many things on the line. Our progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. Our Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. All the Bassmaster Classic points and requalification points. Eight days of competition remain and we are five minutes away from day number one at the Dakota Lithium Bassmaster Elite at Lake Champlain. Need to catch them this week on Lake Champlain to stay in the Bassmaster Classic Cup for 2024. Fired up to get this one started. Thank you guys for watching and welcome to episode 9 of The Chase presented by G. Loomis right here on Lake Champlain. Number one. There's a few here, they're here. Yeah. yeah. It's literally 60 of them down there. Now we gotta go. Help. Didn't do our job today. Frustrating. I didn't feel good all day either. I just felt, I don't know, weird. Out of his first top 10 in his Elite Series career. He's an Elite Series rookie and a Bassmaster Open winner from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada. Cooper Gallant. Five fish for Coop. Bob all alive. Day one weight here at the Dakota Lithium Bassmaster Elite. 17 pounds, three ounces. Puts you in 36th place, so Gonna keep a decent start. I mean, I know you always say your standard a little higher than that, but man, you gotta be happy. A lot of guys struggled here on day one. Yeah, for sure. It could have been a lot worse. Um, got a lot of bites today. I just couldn't get any big ones. A little frustrating, but uh, tomorrow I'm gonna fish new water 90% of the day. I gotta figure out how to get a few four and a halfs in the boat and uh, jump up the leaderboard. But uh, 
Man, this place is fun. There's a ton of fish out there. And hi, everyone back home. Appreciate it big time for watching all the support. And uh, can't wait to get out tomorrow. Hopefully, we can bring over 20 into the scales. We'll make it happen. I look, look forward to seeing you. This week, it, like all that's on my mind is the Bassmaster Classic. After fishing it last year, it doesn't even, words can't even describe how bad I wanted to get back. So these next two tournaments, every day, every minute is huge. It's super important. Every fish, every ounce. And uh, today we didn't get our job done. We're sitting in 56th, a pound out from 50th. We need to catch them tomorrow. We need to catch them. I caught a lot of fish today. I just didn't land on any big ones. I'm not going to lie, it was a stressful day. Like a lot's on the line. It's uh, it's crazy, and like I said, every every minute counts, every ounce counts, and every point counts. Need to catch them tomorrow. The goal tomorrow is over 20 pounds. Going to be running a lot of new water, um, a lot, probably 90% new water tomorrow. Uh, I just feel like that's what I need to do. These fish are roaming so much. It's like you catch a four and a half pounder on one waypoint practice. Nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be there because they're roaming, chasing bait. So I just gotta just go fish tomorrow, have fun, and just act like it's a, another day of practice. But we'll see you guys in the morning. It is like 8.30 and I'm going to bed because I am beat. Got the whole film crew here. <laughs> Need to catch him today. Got Colin, he rolled in last night. My brother Colin got dad here. Got a couple cameras rolling today. Hopefully uh, we can make it easy on them today when we're fishing. Hopefully we can catch a lot and hopefully we can catch some big ones. Bad one. Come here. It's decent, I think. <laughs> it's a not bad one. I'll take it. A couple four pounders mixed in. Yeah, that one's got to be my smallest by the end of the day. better they're just swimming slow down you know skinny 
I think that's a four. Close to it. I don't like how I'm dicing, but I just like to anyway. Those are definitely the ones we need. About an hour and a half into the day, Coop's got one probably close to four, a three and a half, and uh, some that he definitely has to get rid of, but we got a lot of time. I think he checks in at what, 3.30 today? Something like that. Bigger. Yeah, one's bigger. And better. A couple good ones. She was all alone. Hit the water and just started swimming right up instantly and ate it on the fall. Oh yeah, I need you badly. It's not that big, but it's good. Definitely cool. <laughs> I was like paused, like paused in there to make sure I had her. Yes! Boys, one more four and a half. I got a good bag. Yes! I'll wear it just for you, Dad. I know he wants me to. 450. That feels good. Yes. I don't know, I'm double checking. I'm pretty sure it's green. Green or orange or yellow, one of the three. <laughs> Stop. These two are close. 90% of the time though, when they're alone like that, they're bigs, just cruising. For a bruising. Three 
six. Wow, it helps. <laughs> hey Drew, big ones, eh? <laughs> all day. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Three ninety six. Yes. Four sixteen. It's a good one to be throwing back. See ya, bud.
their first top 10 on the Elite Series from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. 17 pounds, three ounces yesterday. Let's get him inside that top 50. Five fish here today, 17-3 on day number one. Five fish, 21 pounds, four ounces. Thank you. Cooper Gallant moves into 12th place, and he's knocking on the door of his second top 10 in a row. 38 pounds, 7 <laughs> ounces, and uh, you move into 12th place, and man, got yourself some valuable points today, and uh, put yourself in contention for another top 10. It was a lot of fun just a few weeks ago. Want to do it again? Yeah, I would love to. Um... Man, it was fun today. I had a lot of fun yesterday. It was a little frustrating. Only out of 17 sack. I knew I needed to catch him today. Um, all that's on my mind this week is the Bassmaster Classic. So I definitely gained some good points. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get out tomorrow and, and try to gain even more. But, man, this place is fun. Full of giant smallmouth. Lots of them. The schools you're seeing out there are insane. Like, you'll see schools of, like, 50 to 100 smallmouth. It's ridiculous. So it's a very cool place. Super fun place to fish. And a uh, big shout out to my dad. He's been traveling with me all year, filming me all year for my YouTube channel. And my brother Colin, he also came out today too. So thank you guys for helping out and documenting it all. And uh, man, hopefully we can get fish tomorrow and try and crack a big bag. Love to see you here on Monday. Thanks, Dave. Woo, here we go, Coop. 21, boys. Yep. Yeah. You said 21-2. That was pretty close. <laughs> I feel so good. are rigged, boat's ready to go, everything's on charge, we're fishing on day three. I was telling Colin earlier, I'm like, yeah, like Bassmaster Classic's on the mind, obviously that's on my mind the whole time, that's the number one goal this year, is to make that classic again. We're, we're sitting in 20th place um, for Angler of the Year. I'm the type of guy that always likes checking. I know those guys like Paul Nick and stuff, they don't like looking. I need to look, I can't help myself, so. Um, we're sitting in a good spot, but we need to catch them tomorrow. Um, but yeah, like I was saying to Colin today, I, you know, I want to go out and gain as many points as I can. But a big part of me just wants to get back out there and go fishing because I had so much fun today, and I want to just fish tomorrow and catch bass. Um, today was unbelievable. It's pretty cool having Dad and my brother Colin there, and Rob. It's like they're beside me all day filming, and it's like it's just it's a good time. It feels like they're in the boat with me, and every time I get a big one, everyone's hooting and hollering. So it's a lot of fun. Tomorrow we're gonna have fun and we're, we have a legit shot at making another top 10, 100%. Um, it's not easy, but they live out here. If I catch 24 pounds, I have a really good chance. If I catch 23, I have a shot. Um, I know 23 pounds is for sure doable in the area I'm fishing. I saw it on day one of practice. Day one really hurt me. Uh, it's, I'm still a little frustrated about it, but it's done and over with, so. I'm just thankful to be in the spot we're in right now. Thankful we're going out fishing tomorrow. Can't wait to get out there. Gonna put the tarp on the boat, get to bed early, and we'll see you guys bright and early for day three here on Lake Champlain for the second last stop of the Bassmaster Elite Series. These are the rain pants I wore or you wore? Come on, let's go. Okay. <laughs> What's about you? Oh, you are. Uh -oh. I said I'm only 25 and my body's hurting. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Well, used to they we go in that weather. We 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 went. If they said the earth was ending, we'd still go. 23 pounds out there somewhere.
four and change for sure. Those are the ones you need, boys. Fit right up my troll motor. <laughs> That's a good one. Is that high three? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, never mind. It's got the line. Did that not look way bigger than that? Looks like a big one when it jumps. Won't even help. What is your back sore? Uh, not bad right now, no. No? Update, Cooper's got about two hours left to fish. He's got about 18 and three quarters, 19 pounds. The area he fished yesterday, uh, he fished it pretty much all morning and that's what he got from there. We're running a bunch of new water and he's gonna need about 22 pounds to fish tomorrow, so. from Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, Cooper Gallant. 38 pounds, seven ounces to start the day today. He's got five fish to add to that. Don't take 20 pounds, six ounces. He moves into sixth place with 58 pounds and 13 ounces. 58, 13. Cooper Gallant in sixth place trying to make back-to-back -back 10 cuts here in the Elite Series. And Coop, I mean, I gotta commend you on your work ethic. It, you literally, I mean, we had a few weeks off after events before this Northern Swing started, and there's a bunch of tournaments at home in Canada. You haven't been fishing in any of them because you've literally been living on the road preparing for these final three events. And you got one more to go, and it looks like that work is paying off. Yeah, I spent a lot of time pre-practicing. Um... And yeah, it is, it's paid off 
so far somewhat, and uh, it's been a blast. And like I said yesterday, all that's on my mind for these next two events at the Bassmaster Classic. Want to gain as many points as we can. That's more than I thought I had. I thought I had about 19 pounds. Pretty stoked about that. Thanks to Colin, my dad, for filming all week. Raw for driving the boat around. Uh, I know Mom's right there filming. Love you, Ma. Love everyone back home. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks to all my sponsors. And, man, St. Lawrence River's coming up in just a couple days. Can't wait to get there to end the season off. And hope we can end the season off with a bang. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it big time. Congrats on another good one. Oh, that, well, that was better than we thought. Yeah. Way to go. What's that point you in now? So did you have fun? I had a lot of fun. I did a lot of shopping. Day one, I felt bad for Cooper because I know he was expecting a lot going into this tournament. But typical Cooper style, he rallied. He ended up going from 56th to 25th to 18th. Top 20. Good points. A little bit of moolah. I'm proud of him. What did you think about Colin? It was a lot of fun. Tiring, just even being out on the boat, but... I think yesterday was, or not yesterday, was it the day before? I think Cooper caught like 80 fish. It was one after another. Bang, bang, just... just going, this is so much fun. It's like... Hey, I need them all to break down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, if Brian, uh, Fajita, and Joey all break down at the same time on the final <laughs> day of the tournament. I've got a shot at rookie of the year. Oh, Coop, but you know what? Fingers crossed. Oklahoma. Okay, now what? Now you talk. Good. Get a little closer to that. I'm gonna end it off with you at the end. What am I gonna say? Just something good. Okay. That'll be difficult. Something that makes the viewers go, hmm. <laughs> Points for the Bassmaster Classic in Oklahoma in 2024. Um, oh, Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get oh this goodness. done. I want to go inside. It's perfect. Yeah, right there. Where am I? Right there. Right there. That's okay. good. Right there. Ended up in 18th place. Got some really good points for the 2024. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Finished off Lake Champlain in 18th place. Got some good AOI points uh, for the 2024 Classic. Uh, but we still got one more event. This one's a wrap, on to the next one. We have one off day and then we're headed to the St. Lawrence River. We got two days practice there. And uh, last event of the season, St. Lawrence River. One that I'm really looking forward to, probably the one I'm looking forward to the most on the schedule all throughout the 2023 season. Um, it's one that's the closest to home. It's got giant smallmouth and guys are gonna crack them. It's gonna be a fun one, but thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along. My Chase, there's from the Bassmaster Elite Series. And thanks to Colin, mom and dad for coming out and uh, making it that much more fun. Documenting it all in the water as well, which is pretty awesome. It was cool having them out there. And uh, thanks mom, thanks dad, love you guys. Love you. Call, appreciate okay. it. You got some money shots this week. Yeah, it was fun. Some good small mold jumps. Second one of the year. Yeah. Next week, St. Lawrence. Hopefully I can do a few more next year. Yeah, we'll see you in a couple days at the St. Lawrence. Almost as good as I am. <laughs> oh, Oklahoma, you're like.